some in Limestone County are heading into their fourth day of water conservation and for others a third day under a boil water notice. Today the Tennessee Valley Authority helped provide clean water to those living in Ardmore. Our Mariah Wiggs took a visit to the town where some say the water distribution was a dire need. I, I wouldn't care if I had to stand out here for six hours uh, just for a chance to get water for my family. People living in Ardmore are in their second day under a boil water notice. Dozens of cars lined up at the Ardmore Water Department Sunday morning waiting for free cases of bottled water provided by TVA. There ain't nothing that a father wouldn't do for his family. For Kevin Carroll, that meant waiting in below freezing temperatures to get a case of water for his wife and unborn child. Others took the trip with family also on their minds. I got a brother-in-law and sister-in-law on Cedar Hill Road, which is extremely nasty. And I was going to try and get them some, plus myself and my wife. Dwight Colston tells me icy roads were too dangerous for his family to travel on, so he came alone. Those same conditions delayed the 10 pallet water delivery for over an hour. Colston says he'd rather drink bottled water. I don't really trust boiling it. I mean, if they say that it's something enough is wrong with it where you have to boil it to use it, I don't trust that. The Limestone County Water and Sewer Authority says the loss of pressure in the water distribution center may cause movement of outside water into pipes through cracks, breaks, or joints and has a high potential of fecal contamination or other disease-causing organisms entering the system. The LCWSA issued the boil water notice on Friday, which means you cannot drink or use the water from your faucet without boiling it first. Many don't know when the boil water notice will be lifted, but are thankful for the help along the way. It means a lot to everybody here, so including me and myself. In Ardmore, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.